על העבר שלו, והוא מתחבק עם איזה רגע שהוא ממש רצה לכתוב משחק מחשב, או שהוא התחיל לכתוב משחק מחשב, או שהוא עשה איזה דמו וראה שזה פאק, זה ממש יותר יפה שיש לך דברים על המסך זזים מאשר קוד. יש פה מישהו שלא מסוגל? לא, כולם הלכו להרצאה שלך. הם הלכו להרצאה שנייה, נו, אז... ואז אתה אומר, כבר מכרתי אותם מראש. כן, זה אולי לא ניסוי מדעי. כולם הכי אוהבים משחקי מחשב. זה הדבר הכי מדליק בתכנות? יש לי מה? סקין גיטאפ. לא, לא ידעתי שיש אפילו. עכשיו לא ראיתי בשום מקום. פשוט מחפש, אני עושה את זה. יהיה בסדר, אני לא אגע אותו. אז... משהו בחזקת המרחק שלהם מהאמצע. מישהו זוכר בווידאו שלוש אחד היה סקרין סיידר כזה? שם עבדו איזה מאה עוד, מאה חמישים מאה עוד היו פה וזה. אז פה, בפרק זה עובד עם עשרים וגם שם הם היו מרובעים, ונראה לי שפה הם מגולים. אה, לא, עם פיקסלים. זה המוח שלך שמחבר עם הידע שלך לאסטרונום ואסטרופיזיקה. איך עושים בפרל עשרים אלף, תחשבו שנייה, יש שם שלושים פריימס לשנייה, כפול עשרים אלף אובייקטים, כמה המספר המינימלי של פרל מתוד קולס שצריך? שישים אלף אם רק היית צריך כל מתוד אחד, אבל על כל אובייקט צריך לבדוק מה x, מה y, להגיד לו פיינט, להגדיל, להקטין, להוריד את המיקום שלו, לבדוק אם הוא הגיע לקצה, לבדוק יש איזה עשר מתוד קולס שאתה צריך להניע אותו קצת, אז יש לנו שלושים, זה תמיד זה יותר כמו עשרים, אז יש לנו, אה, אתה עושה סטפן, אז יש לנו עשרים אלף, אז יש לנו עשרים אלף, אז יש לנו עשרים אלף מתוד קולס פר סקנד שאתה צריך להניע את הסטאר. How many Perl method calls can you run in a second? Even the tiniest, tiniest Perl method. Uh, can anyone estimate? Six thousand? What? Six thousand? No, no, uh, I think hundreds of thousands, maybe tens of thousands. Definitely not in the millions. So this can't even be done. And I, what's even worse in Perl, and what's worse is that if you want to use really nice Perl like Moose, Uh, what is, uh, does anyone know what is the factor between calling a moose accessor, like you saw in the previous uh, talk, versus accessing a hash element, or even an array element, directly? Okay, what's the, how much time is slow? Three times slow, moose accessor. Ten, who knows? It's like 30, 40 times slower. So, uh, this million figure that I gave, uh, gave uh, a few minutes ago, you have to multiply by 40, 50, the times of the moose method will never work. When I tried this at first, I got like 100, 200. We're talking 20,000. Uh, so the trick in writing games with Perl is doing the heavy stuff, the game loop stuff, doing it in C or C++ or whatever. And there are actually many mechanisms that you can do it without writing C or C++ by declaring stuff. Um, So let's just look at a typical um, uh, SDL program. Uh, SDL is a low-level multimedia library. It's really cross-platform. It works on everything from a Nintendo DS to... Uh, it's more cross-platform than Perl. Suffice to say, no more. Perl runs everywhere. Uh, SDL is even more cross-platform. 
it's really low level. It runs on uh, iOS. Most of the iPhone games that uh, I see the uh, people playing uh, were written in uh, using guys SDL. It's really low level. It just gives you tiny, tiny things for a library. One input. I want to read the joystick, the mouse, the keyboard. In a, that's easy to do. Why would you need a low level library for that? Can anyone help me out? Yes. Anyone know how to read the keyboard in uh, Intel? It's not very difficult. To, do I need a special library for it? What? Speed, uh, concurrency, and cross platformness. Uh, Pell doesn't really run on uh, Nintendo, yes, but SDL with this uh, feature does do run. Um, so it does, I'm saying SDL is really low level. It does. Input handling, sound, really low level sound. Here's MP3, play. Uh, here's a um, uh, frequency plate. And what else can anyone guess besides input Video. handling and multimedia? Video. It allows you to draw graphics and also <coughs> have really low level graphics. Uh, what would you assume, Shlomi, is a low level graphics API? How would you, well, what, what kind of names of functions do you think of it? Put Instead pixel. of me talking. Put pixel. Put pixel. That's the lowest level. The lowest level uh, library that you would have without just put pixel. That's enough for implementing the other. Yeah, but it has a little more. It has a draw circle, it has a draw rectangle, uh, various uh, tools for manipulating colors. Um, <clears throat> so uh, the way you work with SDL is, uh, it's, it's a really low level library. Uh, that's something that Perl people don't like to work with directly. Uh, and for good reason. So on top of it, they started out as an SDL, uh, this is history now, uh, my personal hero, Kitakore, uh, maybe uh, if you go to uh, GitHub Pell Game Dev, you see uh, all my heroes. Uh, yeah, this one is where's K? J K? Oh, he's a uh, my hero. So he took up the SDL project, raised it from the dead, and brought SDL Pell Gaming into a Renaissance mode. Just check out all the people uh, in the Pell Game Dev group and all, all the stuff that's happening there. So SDL is really low level. In Perl we don't use low level libraries. Uh, so they started out with a project to write a syntactic sugar layer over it because it's a very C API. It uh, requires you work with the structures and call long method names which are global and not on any object. Uh, so first of all they Perlized it. Perlizing something is taking an API which is C or CS or Javaesque and making it so it fits our style in Perl. It's a, it's a sugary thing, but they're not fascist about it. So uh, if they want to add features and abstractions, things you do not normally associate <coughs> with sugar, they do it. So that's SDL, that's the SDL uh, module on CPAN. Uh, they have their sugar on top of the low level SDL work, which is more fun, but it's still really, really low level. So I'm uh, thinking. Uh, maybe we should look at a really low level um, example. <clears throat> uh, actually, the, probably this one is good enough. So, um, I'm, there's an SDL book, Go to Pearl Game Dev. Takore uh, with, oh, he's, he's an incredible motivator. He's like Gabo. He can, you, you just hang it around ILC, suddenly you find yourself writing a chapter for his book. <laughs> and you're hanging around ILC, suddenly you're fixing three bugs in, in the next two hours. He's giving you two hours. And you feel like you're doing it for yourself, and it's great. And I mean, there's all these tricks. It's, um, I don't know, the, the, the line between uh, psychological manipulation and leadership is sometimes unclear to me. <laughs> Jedi mind tricks. What? Jedi mind tricks. Yeah, he's good in Jedi mind tricks. Yeah, he has one, for example, that every time you tell him anything that you did, he will stop everything you do, and you say, wow, that's amazing, grand, incredible things, how do you do such things? And I investigate further, he didn't even look at it. He has just discovered through experience and infinite wisdom, he's a really young guy, he's like 20 or something, uh, that when you tell people that they're doing really good, they do it more. <laughs> so and I found out eventually, I'm looking at every, everyone that tells him anything, he's, he always has a canned reply. I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised if it's a bot. But it works, and he's a leader because he moves things because of his psychological manipulation or leader leadership skills. Let's call them. And then people are doing things. So we're looking now at the example. Uh, 
flowing unit, you can relate. This is the uh, example we're looking at. And guess how many styles are you now? Uh, is it more than two? Humans are really bad at big numbers. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know, like lots. I mean, there's like one, two, and many yeah, less. Lives. And I mean, it's, it's more than two, so it's many. It doesn't really matter. Two, more than two is many. Um, so we'll say that's 20,000 styles, and uh, we, we, we made a rough calculation that you need millions of Perl methods. If you want 30 uh, frames per second, and for each style you need to do some iteration to check it, has it reached the limit, uh, etc. Uh, you need millions of Perl method calls a second. And that's very hard. So and writing games, by the way, is the hardest type of programmers, and game programmers, when they become game programmers, which I will become one day, uh, are the smartest programmers. You see many bugs in games. I see more bugs in, a, uh, um, uh, in my bank uh, internet form than really the simplest game. The games seem to me like incredibly bug-free things. It's just me, no? Hmm? Ah, so they're not better programmers, they have better QA. Could be. They have better motivation. But I'm thinking, remember we started that programming games is the most fun. It's better to have a method called uh, kill, uh, uh, die, guarantee, than uh, 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 deduce account from customers with the tax over uh, coming from uh, the state with zip code and so on. Uh, these methods are more fun, everything is more fun. So maybe if it's more fun, the, the better programmers are going to. Maybe that's why they have this one. I don't know. But it's definitely difficult, like when you're talking, I need to fit a million calls a, a second. That's like writing a website for a million people, or more, for 10 million people. And just writing a game for one person. <coughs> so just be getting into gaming, for me, as a programmer, has increased the level of complexity a lot. Um, so I won't go into details of how to work low level, but yeah, there's an excellent book, which I call it, uh, organized, really excellent examples. It's got humor, you will laugh in it. Uh, not many, does humor have a place in reference documentation? Mm. Yes, depending on, depending on the culture of the target audience. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Is a culture, well, what culture has no well, place? Well, it's a culture, so if it's a culture documentation inside company, inside, and probably not. Right. Yeah, but for our culture. Because there you have to appeal to it. <laughs> because uh, managers have no capability to judge if you are really serious, so they might <coughs> act on appeals. Um, okay, maybe we'll go over this uh, code. Um, so this is a pure SQL code. It just uses another library for my GitHub. It's not yet ready for CPAN, but you can check it out. Uh, the library tries to solve uh, the problem that for lots of uh, games, you have the same repetitive code for handling motion and animation. And uh, the idea is called tweening. Uh, who here beside Uri Bruch who translated Adobe Flash documentation into Hebrew? <laughs> and they use, uh, probably uh, invented the name in computers <coughs> for tweening. Uh, who here knows what tweening is? Turn me out. Fucking explain to you for three hours. Yes, I understood. So, what is a tween? A tween is, it comes from the word between. Once you had excellent animators doing uh, every 20 frames, and then lesser animators doing between, and they were called the betweeners. Uh, what is your job? I'm a betweener. Uh, so uh, a tween is a way to basically, mathematically, have a variable uh, or some uh, attribute and you want it to change between A and B over some time according to some rate with uh, various conversions and filters. Uh, for example, if you just saw the style field example, what, let's translate that into tweens. I want each pixel to go, each star, to go from a center of screen to a random spot on a circle surrounding the center of screen in a random time, let's say from one to nine seconds, and I want its acceleration to be um, according to some exponential function. So this is how you create a tween. Um, and uh, this is the style, by the way. Ah, so, sorry, the style is a data structure. <coughs> Not even an object, because I had to do everything really quickly, uh, so it would work really fast. 
Um, so uh, well, let's just look at a tween, how you do animations with tween. Um, can anyone get, what's, guess what the T argument is for? Ooh, sorry, well, what was the meaning of the T argument? Time. Yeah, duration. Stop. I will explain this to you. Uh, so uh, this is a duration. So every star, go every star, and tween, that's a terminology we use, tween its position according to a path. In this case, it's a linear path. Uh, at this time and move its location from its current location to this location. Uh, what should I move? The star, which is just an array left. This is what we move. It will move this array left. It will change the numbers in the array left so that they always represent the position of the star. And move forever. Um, so that's working with tweens. I, I won't talk about low level SDL. I have like three minutes left for one no, good, good. I'm fine. So let's just look at other demos of um, um, just a, a t another interesting thing. Okay, before we go into more tweening demos, uh, I want to show you the. Uh, 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 I got into a horrible fractal effect, which happens apparently in gaming. Uh, I wanted to write a game, a, cam a tower defense game. Who here is familiar with the genre of uh, tower defense games? Okay. Uh, poor people. Uh, addicted to people. I would have been a professor of physics if I would not have been introduced to that genre of gaming. Um, I could have done it for <coughs> millions of hours of time. So, um, uh, this is uh, the tower defense that I, game that I started writing. Right? You can place uh, towers. And then you can send waves. And various tiles have uh, various capabilities, and uh, eventually the waves will die and explode, and you, uh, you know the style. And then I find out that um, uh, you need a framework. SDL is really, really low level. Just a tiny example, uh, when you're writing uh, games which are uh, um, object-oriented, you want to have uh, to inherit your game objects from something. You, you find very soon that game objects are... Why is nobody looking at me? Because they're losing. Uh, they're losing. Uh, they're losing. Uh, <laughs> you find out that uh, most game objects are uh, really the same. Um, so you want, a, and you find out that many games have lots of stuff uh, the same. Uh, so I stop. No, we can't develop the game. <coughs> I need to develop this framework. Or as Dotan says, some people like to develop frameworks, not games. But uh, no, it's just. A shortcut, a, no shortcut, a detour on the way to the game. And when I started the, the game framework, the, I found out there was an entire field of animation frameworks. And serious game framework obviously needs an animation framework. So I went to the animation framework and so on, uh, etc. Eventually, I'll go back and unroll the stack and uh, continue with this game. Uh, so we saw again uh, the, another really neat thing which uh, you should look about after, right after this meeting, you want going to uh, install uh, SDL and per SDL and pure, um, read the SDL book. Next, you need to look at the... Uh, um, SDL book or the per, 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 Sorry, the per SDL book. Yeah, per SDL is, has more documentation, more nice people, documentation written by the smart people there than all of SDL. I mean, it doesn't set the bar very high, to be honest. True, it's not very well documented, too. So, uh, Box2D. Uh, who knows a famous game written using the Box2D physics What? Angry Birds. This is one. Uh, so, Box2D is uh, accessible from Perl. This is a nice demo. Uh, remember I was telling you earlier how you cannot run a million uh, Perl methods a uh, uh, second? Uh, you can easily run uh, C++ uh, methods a second like that. And uh, uh, Box2D uh, has a nice API, and you just set up your world, <coughs> and you say, go. There's a huge class of games that now the entire dynamics are already programmed for you in uh, Box2D. What do we say? It's for physics, physics based? Yeah, thing. only physics and... Uh, um, really normal physics. You can't do really, really crazy physics. Uh, not so sure. The quantum tunnel. Like I don't. I don't think this is that. Um, uh, it does run on a quantum computer. 
Um, so, uh, to, to now that, that I'm just going to show you some stuff I've been doing with the animation, which are probably the best looking demos that you've seen today. No one can get the graphical <coughs> demo thing, so it's again not setting the bar very high. Um, any questions about, uh, before I go into these uh, demos, about the uh, SDL and uh, um, game programming in Perl? Uh, is anyone interested? <coughs> does anyone seem to have going herself going into this? Yeah. Get back to your, your relate to your inner kid. Uh, take all your experience and professionalism from the real real world. Bring it back to your inner kid. Bring it together and see what happens. Ah, you're you're more into board games. Right? Yes, I like these games Okay, so now we're going into um, tweening and animation. Um, okay, this is a demo of easing function. Remember I was telling you earlier that uh, tween is a function which translates a variable, some attribute from value A to value B according to some path, according to some acceleration. This is the acceleration. Um, the linear, every ball here is uh, given the command move from here to here and back. The only difference between them is the velocity. And here you see the uh, graph of the velocity. Uh, linear obviously goes by line. Um, why do we want to move things from A to B not in a linear fashion? Why do all these things exist except the top one? <coughs> this is not for, if I want to use physics, I'll use box 2D. This is for games not so much based on physics, like uh, I want explosions and uh, I want animations, transitions. Just think uh, a slide moving forward. Uh, yeah, it looks more natural. It looks more natural. Exactly. <coughs> exactly. Exactly. Like when you have a slide or a curtain open, if you do it linearly, it doesn't look good. If you start slow, speed up, and slow at the end, it's smoother. It feels smoother. What? It's just nice, yes. But uh, here in the Pearl community, we go, we try to understand what the meaning of nice is. Okay. Look. In the manager, you can write window with animation. Same thing, exactly. I wanted to use the, the easing equation instead of things. You need to look at the source code. Uh, so, uh, animations need support for pause and uh, Zoom and they need support for uh, speeding up and slowing down. Uh, generally, yeah. this uh, tweening uh, library allows you to control time completely elastic. You can't see it in this demo, but uh, very soon I'll have a version in GitHub which uh, you run your animations, you say, no, I run them with this. Now put the time, like, like a video cassette. You don't know what that is. Uh, <coughs> like a, uh, what's the equivalent model? Like an MP3 song that you can rewind and. Uh, no, we don't know that. MP4 song. I have a player. What? I have a player. I play both. Uh, I like I have a player. Yeah. So you can move forward, you can seek to a specific place. I want to see the animation, what it looks like now. You can have bullet time, for example. Uh, and you can have bullet time really slow. Maybe greater speed. Maybe greater speed. Maybe greater speed. Mm -hmm. And you can have different speeds in different parts of the screen, maybe. It's all, it's no single tones here. Everything is, uh, is very uh, hierarchical. Um, so that's uh, playing with the uh, speed and easing function. <clears throat> uh, now, when you want to animate things from A to B, according to some acceleration, at some time, you may also want to animate it if it's in 2D. There are several parameters to this animation, several uh, dimensions to this animation. One is dimension. Is it 1D, 2D, 3D, or 4D? Why would you want to animate 4D cut? Uh, values. I have value 0, 6, uh, comma 0, comma 0, 0. I want to animate it to F, 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 F. Why would you want to animate a 4D, 2D? Clear why you want to animate a 2D value. Uh, on, in 2D games, everything is 2D. Implement back to the future. One uh, No, colors. Colors are modeled as uh, uh, dimension 4 colors. So if you want to animate green, we will see So, um, this allows you to choose a path. And there are various uh, paths available. So you can say, I want to animate this from here to here according to this path. 
No, de mult. Ha, cut it and so this goes. Yo, um, uh, this this tweens between <coughs> red and ah, uh, it just tweens the opacity. Doesn't tween the the R G and B. Just the opacity. Generally, when you're animating colors, it's sometimes useful to transform to a different color model. Mm -hmm. That's the point. If you ever find yourself in a tough situation when you need to animate colors, remember that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, but all the tweens we saw, uh, they're, they're very static in that when you create the tween, you need to tell it uh, from A to B according to this speed and this animation. Sometimes you have in game uh, things which uh, move, but uh, they follow. Can get a seek, a seek behavior. Uh, can anyone think of a game where there's a seek behavior? Something oh, seeking. Seeking is something. Snakes? Seeking missiles, definitely. And it, it, this was done for the tower defense, seeking missiles. Um, are we done? Over time, over time, 20 minutes. So that's not nice. I'll stop now. You're the last talk speaker, so. Mm -hmm. so uh, and that's it. Talk to me. I need help a lot in uh, writing. It's a huge, huge monumental task. But I'm working on it. I look at my GitHub almost every day. Uh, don't tell my wife. <laughs> um, and You're a video. Oh. Here's, here's where you say I love you, one. Uh, which I love a lot. <laughs> uh, oh, and thanks for my wife for this project. Uh, thanks to her, it exists. <laughs> So I really need help both in the animation panel, uh, and uh, um, now I'm almost done with that, and I'm moving back to the game frame. Uh, <coughs> documentation work, there's lots of uh, stuff uh, to do. Um, it's open source, it's uh, the nicest code that I ever wrote. Uh, I'm doing it so it's the nicest, uh, you know, the, you talk about the niceness of code as the biggest thing to, to, to getting a low barrier of entry. I'm doing everything to be incredibly low there eventually. And uh, if you uh, help you somewhere, it's sure you make you a better programmer like it did to me because it's like you're still a programmer, but the requirements have gone up to 11. And you stop, it sucks. I mean, your methods are all called deduce tax from people with methods uh, die enemy. Um, uh, seek and explode. One more time. 